The past decade has seen enormous growth in power systems. In order to meet this demand, the modern tendency is to site the power station where energy is available, such as at a dam or at a large colliery where a large quantity of water is available. The power is then transmitted, in some cases hundreds of miles, to the load centers. The long-distance transmission system which is common in many countries has given rise to the peculiar phenomenon that under maximum plant conditions, fault currents are less than, or slightly greater than, maximum load currents under maximum plant conditions. The length of the transmission lines involved is such that pilot wire protection cannot be used and two basic types of protection have been tried. Carrier current phase comparison protection has been successfully applied in South Africa to many transmission lines. Unfortunately, the carrier bandwidth required for satisfactory operation is such that a comparatively small number of carrier sets use up the whole of the available frequency spectrum. Furthermore, carrier current protection is not capable of distinguishing a fault current that may be less than the full load current. For these two reasons distance protection has come into its own and vast strides have been made in the design and application of distance relays in the past 20 years. Just about all aspects of the performance of the relay have been improved and furthermore, the physical size of a terminal of distance protection has been markedly reduced. At the present moment distance protection is applied to virtually every major extra high voltage transmission, transmission line erected in the Republic. The improvements in distance relaying have been such that the next development we are likely to see is that distance protection will be applied to distribution rather than transmission networks. Within the next 10 years, one can confidently predict that distribution networks operating at voltages between 11000V and 33000V will use more and more distance protection devices. The backroom boffins have not only invented the modern distance relay, but they have also given us a whole new language to contend with. Words like offset mo and phrases such as system impedance ratio have been added to our vocabulary. The earliest type of relay to be employed for distance protection was a so-called balance beam relay. In this relay, two magnetic circuits are arranged to act at opposite ends of the beam, as illustrated in figure. The current in the restraint coil is proportional to the system voltage whilst the current in the operating coil is proportional to the system current. The impedance of the system is measured at the relaying point. Whilst a balanced beam relay is simple and easy to understand and was in fact used for many years as the basis of distance relaying, it suffers from some serious mechanical drawbacks. If the two inputs are about 90 degrees out of phase, the beam tends to follow the pulsating force and shudders violently. Furthermore, it is almost impossible to design a beam such that it is capable of withstanding the large forces corresponding to maximum input, and yet be sufficiently sensitive to detect faults where the impedance is the maximum relay setting. The balanced beam relay is also susceptible to positional errors as the operating force increases rapidly with a change in position of the beam. IED's intelligent electronic device provide versatile protection, monitoring and control functionality with maximum flexibility and performance optimized for tra transmission overhead lines and cables. The powerful IED provides distance protection for double circuit, parallel operating and series compensated lines. This, together with flexible and expandable hardware, allows the IED to meet your specific requirements. As a result, you can benefit from applications with multiple algorithms and comprehensive bay control functionality, including synchronizing, synchro check, deadline detection and auto reclusing. Like ABBREL 670 IEDs are able to protect and control several objects, for instance a combination of a line and a transformer with a single IED. Line distance protection IED is designed for protection, monitoring and control of overhead lines and cables. The IED includes extensive functionality, with diverse application opportunities, as well as hardware, to meet specific requirements. The powerful IED provides distance protection for all types of overhead lines, cables and power network earthing. This is used for the protection, control and monitoring of overhead lines and cables in solidly or impedance earthed networks. The IED can be used up to the high voltage levels. It is suitable for the protection of heavily loaded lines and multi-terminal lines where the requirement for fast three-pole tripping is wanted. The full scheme distance protection provides protection of power lines with high sensitivity and low requirement on remote end communication. 
The five zones have fully independent measuring and setting which gives high flexibility for all types of lines. SOTF protection is used to trip a transmission line when it is closed during faulted condition. This protection element provides high-speed fault clearance and following are the reasons of deploying this protection element. A after the maintenance of transmission line or line bay in the switchyard there is probability that portable earthing is not removed by the staff. For such condition a very high-speed protection element is required to clear the fault without relying on the pilot-aided tripping or inter-relay communication logic. Close in fault will result in zero voltage at the line terminal which will cause non-operation of directional earth fault and distance relays because these relays will be unable to determine the fault direction during zero voltage condition. There are many standard logics used by protection relays to provide tripping during the switch on to fault condition. Their logics involve tripping through a high speed current element or overreaching distance under voltage protection element with breaker contact supervision or under voltage with overcurrent distance or combination of these logics. SOTF protection can cause maloperation during the closing of transmission line due to heavy loading condition due to heavy current and low voltage condition. Logic and settings of the SOTF element should be selected by keeping in view this problem and it should be verified that SOTF should not operate when successful closing of line is possible. This is especially important when restoration of the power system is going on after a blackout brownout and maloperation of SOTF can delay the restoration. The modern technical solution offers fast operating time of typically 1.5 cycles. The auto recluse includes priority features for single breaker arrangements. It cooperates with the synchrocheck function with high speed or delayed reclusing. High set instantaneous phase and earth overcurrent, for step directional or non-directional delayed phase and earth overcurrent, sensitive earth fault, thermal overload, and two step under and over voltage protection are examples of the available functions allowing the user to fulfill any application requirement. The distance and earth fault protection can communicate with remote end in any teleprotection communication scheme. The advanced logic capability, where the user logic is prepared with a graphical tool, allows special applications. Disturbance recording and fault locator are available to allow independent post-fault analysis after primary disturbances. REL670 provides protection of power lines with high sensitivity and low requirement on remote end communication. Measurements and setting of all six zones with six setting groups are made completely independent which ensures high reliability for all types of lines. The distance and earth fault protection functions can communicate with remote end in any communication scheme. It offers full control and interlocking functionality required for control of apparatuses in a substation. Further detail can be found in these slides.